welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. I think you know me by now, but if this is your first video of mine, um, I write about Tudor history. I research it all day, every day. I'm a self-confessed Tudor nut. Okay, did something bad happen today? Well, I think you can tell from my outfit that yes, it certainly did. It was not a good day for Cardinal Thomas Wolsey. On this day in Tudor history, the 4th of November, 1530, in the reign of King Henry VIII, Henry Percy, Earl of Northumberland, and Walter Walsh, a groom of King Henry VIII's privy chamber, arrived at Cawood Castle in Yorkshire, Cardinal Thomas Wolsey's seat as Archbishop of York, to arrest Wolsey for high treason. Now, the Cardinal had been a royal favourite, serving King Henry VIII as Lord Chancellor, but he'd been unable to get the King an annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII's first wife, and as the late historian Eric Ives pointed out, Wolsey lost Henry's confidence from late August 1529 onwards by miscalculating the King's mood and by mishandling the Treaty of Cambrai, in which Francis I totally deceived him and caused him, in turn, to mislead his master. Wolsey was charged with Premier in 1529, but was pardoned and restored in February 1530. However, Wolsey then managed to dig his own grave by working towards what Eric Eyes describes as a rapprochement with Catherine, Charles V and Rome, something which led to the Pope ordering Henry VIII to leave Anne Boleyn and return to Catherine. Anne and the King were understandably furious with this situation. Henry VIII believed that Wolsey had intrigued against them both in and out of his kingdom and entered into presumptuous sinister practices made to the court of Rome for reducing him to his former estates and dignity. What Wolsey had done constituted treason. On the 1st of November 1530, Walter Walsh was sent to Yorkshire with a warrant for Wolsey's arrest and he accompanied Henry Percy, Earl of Northumberland, a man who had once served in the Cardinal's household, to Cawood on the 4th of November. Edward Hall records Wolsey's arrest in his chronicle. When the Earl had seen the letter, he, with a convenient number, came to the manor of Cawood on the 4th day of November, and when he was brought to the Cardinal in his chamber, he said to him, "'My Lord, I pray you take patience, for here I arrest you. Arrest me, said the cardinal. Yea, said the earl, I have a commandment so to do. You have no such power, said the cardinal, for I am both a cardinal and a legate and a peer of the College of Rome and ought not to be arrested by any temporal power, for I am not subject to that power. Wherefore, if you arrest me, I will withstand it. And the cat is meowing for Wolsey. Wolsey actually was a cat lover. He, uh, he had a pet cat who, I think, sat on a cushion beside him. Well, said the Earl, here is the King's commission, which he showed him, and therefore I charge you to obey. The Cardinal somewhat remembered himself and said, Well, my Lord, I am content to obey, but although that I by negligence fell into the punishment of the premier and lost by the law all my lands and goods, yet my person was in the King's protection, and I was pardoned that offence, wherefore I marvel why I now should be arrested, and especially considering that I am a member of the See Apostolic, on whom no temporal man ought to lay violent hands. Well, I see the king lacketh good counsel. Well, said the earl, when I was sworn warden of the marches, you yourself told me that I might with my staff arrest all men under the degree of a king. And now I am more stronger, for I have a commission so to do, which you have seen. Hall goes on to say that the cardinal at length obeyed and was kept in his chamber while his goods were seized and his officers discharged. 
The cardinal's physician, Venetian Agostino Agostini, was also arrested, accused of carrying letters to the French ambassador in London. Sir William Kingston, constable of the Tower of London, was sent from London to meet Wolsey in Sheffield as he was escorted down to London. But Wolsey never got to London. He died from dysentery while breaking his journey at Leicester Abbey on the 29th of November 1530, thereby perhaps cheating the axeman. So it was a bad day in history for Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, a man who probably had tried his best to do his duty to the king. And just to say that uh, he died of dysentery. He did not commit suicide like uh, the character played by Sam Neill in the Tudors series. Just putting that myth to rest there. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking round about there. There are so many Tudor history videos on this channel now as I've been doing a daily on this day one since the 1st of January. And there are lots of others too. There's even a Tudor cooking uh, playlist. So do have a good look round. You can of course like this video and you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live as well. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.